In the VEP computer simulation, which we simply call Village for short, we have uh, computer agents that represent families, that represent Pueblo families. These families are in some respects just like many families today. They're, uh, there are children, there's a, there's a mom, there's a dad, they have kids. How many kids they have is affected to some degree by uh, their success in getting enough food and their exchange relationships with other households. Uh, people die according to what we believe is uh, the approximate schedule that would have applied to these populations. And they move about the landscape in response to changing opportunities for growing maize and getting other resources on the landscape. So agent-based modeling is this computer simulation where we have these rules for the individuals. The individuals each do something according to their own processes. And then we can see how those interact on the landscape and look at that and compare the output to the archeological record. So in the simulation, we have households, here really a nucle nuclear family of mother, father, children, and we give them rules. Most, the rules that we give them are where they can live, they need to farm maize, so they need to live somewhere where they can grow enough maize that they can eat and survive. They hunt uh, deer, rabbits, and hare. They can domesticate turkey. They need to chop down wood. They need to gather water, and those are their primary rules that they follow. By following these rules that we give to each household, we can look at not only what each household is doing, what each of these families are doing, but also groups of households in the entire landscape. You're not programming robots. Rather, you're giving them their own mind, their own intellect, so they can reason based on the knowledge that you have seeded in the simulation and based on what they've learned. And the learning is very important because agents can learn from their past experience. They can learn from the history, their own history. So they evolve their decisions and they change, they adapt to the environmental changes. And then the outcome of all of that, where they ended up settling because of those decisions that they made on their own without your help as the programmer, that's the emergence of the system. And that's, that's what I like to see as the outcome of the VEP. And then to verify it, I compare it against the archaeological record to see, well, did they actually end up there?